making those connections. The team. Paint the picture. Credibility. A deck. Betting on. The delivery. The slide. Judging. The idea. The pitch. The magic. We practiced a lot. Mm -hmm. We practiced a lot. <laughs> we practiced the words, we practiced the delivery. It's really important to show your strength as a team during the pitch, um, show that we worked well together. Um, we always do this thing of pitching where it's like we trade off slide by slide. I pitched everyone I could get my hands on. The first group we focused on was artists because we had to know whether or not they were interested in what we were doing. And it's a good thing that we did because they weren't interested in our original idea. We're actually not that well rehearsed and sometimes it comes out really poorly and sometimes it comes out great and it's kind of different every time. I think that we're not the type that would do well with a really practiced pitch. And we would I both, think, I think, get hung up on the fact that we got yeah. a word wrong or like got a sentence wrong. And get you know? flustered. And you know, maybe we need to have one, I don't know. <laughs> I think, I think the, our business is very much driven by our personalities and our personalities are very sort of spontaneous and um, what they are. We're, if, we, we can't fake it for better or for worse and so I think that comes across in the pitch that it's not rehearsed, we're not faking it, it's just this is this business that was born of our passions and what excited us and so that's hopefully what comes across when we tell people, investors or whoever else about what we're doing. For the most part you may just go through one slide and get peppered with 20 questions or you get to the very end they'll have questions. I always use the deck as an appendix, as a backup. You have to tell your story. The business that we are building is really easy to understand, actually, and it resonates with people. Just it's a very, it, it creates a very emotional response. We were telling a story. It was just, it, and it was the story of our business. I think the reason we start on that personal note is because when you're pitching people early on, it's about making those connections, making people be a believer in you. You know, you look at what we're doing, and you know, we bleed video, and, and that's who we are. By the time we were ready to start uh, talking to investors, we actually had a, a working site, a prototype. I think an important part of our pitch and one of the biggest strengths behind it is that we had already done something. It wasn't <laughs> theoretical. It wasn't like, if we had money, here's what we do. Here's what we would do. Instead, it'd be like, here's what we already built. Here's what we already tested. Here's what our existing customers are saying. Yeah. And it was only 200 customers. It was only eight <laughs> brands. It was a really janky website. Um, but we, we showed that we knew how to move forward even under resource constraints um, and that was really what set us apart from a lot of the other people pitching. The single most important thing um, in fundraising is the credibility that you have. If you're doing an early stage uh, or an A round, then all I'm betting on is you because my guess is between the time you pitch me and the time I write a check, you've probably had a major change to your business. When it comes to slides, I think generally the rule is less is more, both fewer slides and less stuff on each slide. Uh, uh, otherwise, everybody will kind of get lost in, the, in, in all the density of the information. If you can't articulate your startup in under 10 to 12 seconds, you're probably not speaking very clearly. You have too many words, you're sharing too much, you're talking about implementation and not vision. It's vision, I'm buying into your vision. A lot of entrepreneurs come in and they wanna just tell their whole story and, and it's a very long story and it's complicated and you know, it's 15 or 20 minutes on them and the team and 15 or 20 minutes on the idea and 15 or 20 minutes on the market and, and then you know, we get to the product late in the conversation and it's just too much information and it, and it doesn't, doesn't make for a crisp, concise story. If you say we're going to bring down Google, if we're going to bring down Facebook, you're probably not. And even if you are, the odds of you doing it are so minimal that I probably don't need to make that bet. It's the right person or people with the right idea, packaged up with the right product, at the right time, in the right market. And, and that's, that's the magic.